Okay, so you all know what a nightmare is, right? So pretty much it is a bad dream, and when you wake up, you would rather die than think about that scary dream. And let's hop into my nightmare. So this is my brain. Let's zoom in on that brain. And the first nightmare I remember having was when I was three, and there was this truck, and since we were on a field trip, every kid was getting in the truck. But don't worry, it wasn't candy, it was books. And yeah, so we were supposed to pick out a book. I was still picking out my book. The truck goes room, room with me inside. I start screaming like a baby. I start crying like a baby. And I'm screaming, no, mom, because my mom was there. Uh, and then I wake up and I'm, and I just start screaming it to mess with her. And the next morning she comes up to my room like, hey, why are you screaming? So yeah, this one was actually a recurring nightmare, so pretty much I have this little, like, box. This is a picture from three months ago. And pretty much, in my dream, there would be a light on it, and I would walk towards the light. And yeah, tiptoe, tiptoe, scary, scary, scary music. And then I would step on the light, but nothing would happen, so I would walk away very casually. But then these freaky, demonic creatures would come, and then they would start to take my voice while I try to get away through the door. And I sit down, screaming for help, but no one's there. And I wake up. Anyway, I stopped having these when I was about seven. And anyways, let's hop into this next stream that I had when I was like five. So there was this box, and the box was full of toys. And so me and my sister were in this one, and we would sit next to the box of toys. And there was Jack in the Boxes there, too, with these demonic faces. Boy one, girl one, girl one, kill my sister, and I hide under this cabinet. Don't ask me how. This is how much space is under the cabinet. And, yeah, so the boy, Jack in the Box, looking around for me, and I'm like, oh, my God, I'm actually safe. And I see this face before I he gets me. I die. And, yeah, so... Sleep paralysis is, because this is my one, so your body isn't awake, but your brain is. So you're awake, but you can't move your body. But you're still half dreaming, so you start to see some crazy stuff. So on mine, I saw, like, this figure at my door with these red demonic eyes, yeah. And anyway, so it bent its neck like that, looked over me, and then this freak bit my arm, and I woke up, and everything was okay. And, yeah, so this one, there was this girl with blue hair. This one's kind of stupid, anyways. So, pretty much, she was sneaky, so play switch on closet. And this blue monster comes behind her, and it's like, are you winning? You winning that game? And I don't know why I got so triggered from this. It's like, out of all the things he could have said, he just says, are you winning? You winning that game? Like, bro, you're a terrible monster. For Are you winning? That's all he had to say. So then she goes screaming down the stairs, and then she trips and falls, and then she goes unconscious, and the monster's like, are you winning? She is knocked out. Why are you still asking is she winning? So in this one, I want to rob the bank, and don't ask me why I didn't wear some mask or anything to hide my face, but anyways, everything was going good. Now, I'm probably thinking, oh, he must have opened that vault, and then he should, would have dropped some money, dropping them on money, yeah, but no, you'd be wrong. So, we did open the vault, well, I did, and three, two, one, here was what in the vault, paper clips. Paper clips, but you know what, paper clips are paper clips, I robbed the bank, and then I woke up, I was still in my dreams, so like, that's why this part scared me so much, I thought it was awake, knock at the door, and it was cops, but somehow, without having any way to know who it was, I knew what it was, and then I woke up, anyways, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this story.